Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic. In the city I live in, there's this really cool place called the Antique Mall. And it's a mall filled with antiques, exactly as the name describes. Uh, so every once in a while, uh, me and my girlfriend go there and we like to, you know, rummage through the stuff they have. Now the favorite part of it is the upstairs part because that is where all the toys and comic books are. So that's where I always go. They have Star Wars, Star Trek, superhero stuff, Masters Universe, G.I. Joe, Transformers, everything that you can think of. Uh, they've got it in there, all kinds of old stuff from the past, all varying in price because it works on consignment. People drop their stuff off there and they uh, decide, they tell the mall, I want to sell it for this. And then the mall sells it and then takes a percentage of it for them, uh, takes a percentage of it after they sell it for them. So uh, we went there uh, this past weekend and uh, I went there. I didn't really have the intent to buy anything. So I was just in there looking around, but I saw something in there that just really uh, gave me a huge sense of nostalgia. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you see, you know, something that made a big impact on you in your past that uh, you haven't seen in years and years and years. And then when you see it, it just uh, brings you right back to that uh, moment in time and it gives you that exact same feeling that you had when you uh, originally encountered it. So uh, I found something like that today and basically it gave me what I like to call a nostalgia bomb right there on the spot. And I had to buy it then and there. So uh, what I found, uh, now there's actually two things that I found there I'm gonna talk about, but the first one really, really did it for me. So I don't know how many uh, people can remember these starships from uh, Star Trek Next Generation that you could get in the uh, Shreddy's boxes, boxes of cereal. So these were like miniature ships that you could uh, collect in uh, the, it came in the Shreddy's boxes of cereal. And uh, there were four of them in total. So obviously this one here is the bird of prey. As you can see, uh, you know, it's not super detailed, but it's still pretty cool. So there was that one. And uh, then you had the Romulan Warbird. Now, this one has almost all the stickers still on it. It's missing one right there. And uh, so there was this one. And then you had the Ferengi Marauder, you know, also another uh, next TNG ship that appeared on TNG. And of course, we have the Enterprise NCC1701D that uh, you can collect. So that one still has got most of the stickers on it too. And uh, so these four ships were the four ships that were, you know, you could collect out of the uh, cereal boxes. And uh, now I could not get all four uh, when I was a kid. I had, uh, because there's only one ship per box, so you had to keep buying shreddies. To, if you wanted to, like boxes and boxes of shreddies, try to get them all. So I had two of the Bird of Prey and two of the Enterprise, but I never could get the Romulan one or the Ferengi one, ever. And uh, so I bought all four of these. They were $3 each, but they had an extra one there for $5. And this is what they actually looked like. Now this one here is still sealed in the package it came in out of the cereal box. So this is what they looked like when you fished them out of the cereal box and they came with instructions and stuff for you to put stickers and all that kind of stuff on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so when I seen these, I had to buy them. And because uh, I have such fond memories of collect collecting these ships out of the cereal boxes and uh, you know, at the point in time when they came out, there wasn't now there wasn't a huge amount of Star Trek merchandise. Now this was 1992. That's when these were in the cereal boxes, and um, that was at a very high point in Star Trek. Yeah, Next Generation was at its peak of popularity on TV. Just had Star Trek VI come out the year before, and that was the final send off with the original crew, and that was a really good Star Trek film. And then you had Deep Space Nine, was, that was just about to start. So this was a really high point in uh, Trek, and it was a, one of my favorite uh, moments of, of Star Trek. I was really into Star Trek at this point as well. So now, now besides these, star, these little starships that I want to talk about, that were out in 1992, 
and you collected them out of the Shreddies boxes. Um, there was another thing that came out, and this was 1993. Now this was in the Hostess bags of chips, and that was these hair collector cards. Now these collector cards, you uh, got them at the bags of chips. There's 38 of them, of them, and these are the original ones that I collected out of the Hostess chips. And I kept them in this little box, this little plastic container. I think this used to house needles or something for sewing. But uh, now I've, these are the ones that I originally collected back in 1993. So I've had them inside this plastic container for 93, however many years it is. Like that's 30 years, 25 years, something like that. So, and uh, so I never did get the whole set. But these are really cool cards you got uh, you know they came with next generation and deep space nine because deep space nine was on the air at that point so you got dining a 10 forward you got the crew deep space nine uh, captain picard uh, dax and then you could collect the uh, cards that had the ships on them that, again is the romulan warbird and then a romulan scout vessel and then a ferengi marauder and then this is like one of my favorite cards is uh, the enterprise c the precursor to the Enterprise D. So this is what was a really fun thing to collect at the bags of chips, but I never got the whole set. I got pretty close. I got a good chunk of them, but I never got the whole set. But at, while I was at the antique mall, right next to these starships, I got the complete set of these Star Trek cards that came in the bags of chips. And they were housed in this little Ziploc bag. And so this was a cool find because now I have the complete set. So this is all 38 of these cards, um, which this was a really good find because I, I couldn't even remember what all 38 of them were. So you got like the, that was kind of, that one's kind of cool transporter room. So this also was a really good find because these cards are pretty cool. And these, I mean, me and my friends would dig through bags of chips and we'd always try to get the, the, like the cheesies because they had the clear windows and get them out of that. Uh, so that was kind of nice and that was Hostess. Now Hostess is a company that is not around anymore. They got bought out by Lay's at some point in the past. Uh, but I, you know, it really made me think of the days when you could get prizes and stuff that you don't really see that a lot anymore. Uh, that seemed to be a lot more current, uh, a, a lot more reoccurring thing when I was a kid. Like, you know, I had stuff in the cereal boxes and then you had stuff in the bags of chips. Now, the last thing I ever seen that you could get out of a bag of chips was when Attack of the Clones came out, you could get Star Wars cards. So I collected a few of them. I didn't go out of my way to collect them, but I just got, I just kept a few that I had gotten out of the bags of chips. So you could get like, you know, Anakin, and, and there was Queen Amidala, Qui-Gon Jinn, the Nemoidians, and then there's another... Uh, Anakin Skywalker. They're a little bit bigger than uh, than the uh, Star Trek cards. So this is something that uh, I kind of miss. And uh, this is one thing if I ever see these cards, a complete set of these at the Antique Mall, something I would probably uh, grab up as well. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one. And these were, this is now, this is actually a complete sex. sex. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.